What up everyone, welcome to BMG, it's your boy Brown Mamba, hope you guys are doing good. So in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you my top 5 game modes for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It's always good to have different game modes that you kind of switch around with as you play Call of Duty, so the longevity is a lot longer and you don't get bored of the game that quickly. Since Call of Duty only comes out once a year and you know you have basically 12 months to play this game, it could get boring pretty quickly. So it's always good to kind of switch it up and try different things and play different game modes. So my number 5 favorite game mode is Hardcore Kill Confirmed. I used to be a big hardcore fan in all the other Call of Duties but I kind of switched it back to regular mode for this Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, but yeah, before that's all I used to play, I used to play call, um, Hardcore, Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed. Any other game was basically always Hardcore. I always felt like hardcore was more realistic because, you know, one or two shots and the guy's dead. Um, but it also gives that interesting factor because there's no maps, you don't know where anyone is. It's, it's a little bit harder and it's more fun just because of the whole surprise aspect to it. I, I was going to pick Team Deathmatch, but in this Call of Duty, I find it that the respawn is like so long. It's like almost 10 seconds sometimes and I don't have patience to wait 10 seconds until I get to go play the game again. So I decided to go with... Kill confirmed instead in the hardcore mode as my top 5 or my 5th favorite um, game mode that I like to play. In hardcore kill confirmed basically um, it's exactly like regular kill confirmed where when you kill someone you gotta go pick up their tags and the first team to get 85 points within the 10 minutes wins. So basically you get a point for picking up a tag or you save a point so the opposite team doesn't get one if you pick one of your teammates. Um, uh, dog tags up, so the blue one. Um, so yeah, so they don't get a point, and you do. So basically, yeah, every red um, tag you pick up is a point for you. Every blue tag you pick up, you save a point that the team, other team doesn't get. So it just helps you get closer to that 85 point mark, and within the 10 minutes, that much quicker. It's kind of cool because there's no map. You don't know where anyone's coming from. There's no like real point or objective that people have to go to, like. Like for example, capture the flag or domination, where you know where everyone is gonna go. So this is, has that surprise element to it, where you gotta be very careful. There's a lot, a lot of campers in this um, because everyone's kind of scared to get out there. But yeah, it's cool, especially because even when you do die, you don't know who shot you and where they shot you from. Coming at number four is search and destroy hardcore mode. Um, once again, I, I went with hardcore because hardcore. It's I, I just love hardcore. I think it's really fun. It's not. Hardcore isn't the main mode that I play these days, but it's something that I still do play and still enjoy a lot. So in this one, it's search and destroy hardcore Great mode. Job. And basically, it's like any other hard search and destroy mode. Um, one shot kills. Uh, each time you die, you're eliminated for that round. And there's only two ways to win it. It's either you defuse the bomb, if you're the opposite team, um, and or, or you eliminate all the players of the other team. I personally don't really care for the bombs. I just go for the opposite team and just take them out. And it's so much more fun because once again, there's no map. You don't know where anyone is. And basically, if you die, you have to sit down for the rest of the map. Like you're not gonna respawn or or anything like that. So for that whole round, you're not you're not in the game. You're just watching them play. I think it just makes it that much more challenging and that much more interesting. There's been games where. I'll die within the first few seconds and I'm just sitting there waiting for the round to be over. Or sometimes it's the best feeling when you're the only one left and you eliminate everyone else on that team and basically win the match for, for your team or win the round for your team. So yeah, at number 4 it's Hardcore Search and Destroy. My next favorite game mode um, coming at number 3 it's the gun game. The gun game is one of my favorite games because it's so fun you get to try all the different weapons out. It's it was in the other Call of Duty's as well, but this one, um, they have it too now. It, it took a little while, I think it was released a few months ago, but it's amazing. It's still really just as fun as the other ones. So basically the whole purpose of the gun game is you start off with one gun, um, and every time you get a kill, it changes to a different gun, and the first one who does all 25 weapons wins. But if you get knifed, and at any point during like the matchup, you go, one, you go back a gun. So I'm gonna go through the list of the 25 guns in order, so the first one, it's ASM-1, you start off with ASM-1, then it's the Emily, IMR, KF-5, HBR, MP-11, then the AK-12, then SN-6, ARX-160, AMR-9, Bulldog, MK-14, EM-1, TAC-19, PyTAC, S-12, XMG, EPM-3, MRS, RW-1, PDW, MP-443, 
Atlas 20mm, Mayhem, and last, the Crossbow. Crossbow is fun, but it is very difficult and that's why they put it in the last one. A lot of people say that gun game really shows a skill of a player because, you know, you had to play with all these different guns and get killed with all these different guns. Um, I disagree because a lot of times you could get lucky depending on where you spawn or you know who spawns in front of you even because there's so many people and it is free for all. There's been times where I'm, I'll get stuck on one gun for so long while everyone else is advancing um, and then all of a sudden I'll get a lucky break because someone's back towards me or someone you know just happens to be shot and about to die and get that last shot on him and he dies so I think it has a lot to do with luck and skill. It is tough. Um, I've won a few gun game matches in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Maybe maybe one day I'll make a video of me doing it. Uh, but yeah, it's it's my number three. It's so fun to play, especially if you have a group of guys that you play with normally. It's, it's really fun. So finally, my number two favorite match, or sorry, mode. It's uh, it's a really new, new mode that just came out too. It's called One Shot. It's basically everyone has the same sniper, um, sniper rifle. It's MRS and yeah one shot kills and they have different game modes team deathmatch domination and stuff like that but i only like it when it's one shot and it's free for all it's a lot more fun it's a lot more hectic uh, i love i love using the sniper i was never a big sniper guy until this game mode came out and i realized that i'm pretty good with snipers and i'm gonna show you some footage as well um maybe even make a video later on about me just doing this one game mode and hopefully having a winning match uh, but yeah, I only like doing it when it's free for all. It's a lot more fun that way. So in this one shot mode, uh, that you have four classes to pick from. One, the first class is 4X, um, and the next class name is Ace. Next one is Hard Scope, and the next one is Irons and Zoom. So it's five. It's five. Five different classes. Yeah, five. Um, same same sniper rifle in all of them. It's the MRS. Um, they all have different attachments, different perks. Um, different yeah different perks different score streaks so depending on what you like and your personal preference you can pick the one that you want to use i always pick the 4x one i just like the, the the scope that comes with it and some of the perks that i like it so that's that's the one that i usually pick and have one games with it i love that feeling of just getting that one sick shot and just you know killing your your opponent and finally, the number one game mode that I love to play and play so much is Domination. Regular mode, Domination. It's become something that I never used to like before, but now I, that's all I usually play mostly. And uh, it's, it's, it's sick. It's basically, you, it, Domination is three flags, A, B, and C, and you gotta go and capture them as a team. Um, so yeah, it's either 4 on 4 or 6 on 6, depending on how many people are in your lobby. Um, yeah, you, you go and capture a flag, you basically stand there and then you capture it. You get 200 points right off the bat, so it helps you get to your score streak that much quicker. Uh, every kill is 100 points, like always. So yeah, and it's something that I like playing because there's a lot of strategy involved in it. Because you gotta defend some of your flag to go capture other ones. And you know where your opponents are going to, so you kind of, you can camp, you can kind of hide and it's not it's not free for all where everyone's running around in random spots you know where someone's gonna be so a lot of the times people run to b because that's that's the middle flag you start off with by either a flag or c flag and then everyone comes to b so you kind of know if you kind of stay on the outside of b you'll get a couple of kills um, yeah you get a couple of kills you steal the flag you get 200 points right there and you're that much quicker to your score streak and a lot of the, a lot of the pros that's what that's all they play too is domination and in the tournament and stuff Mostly, I've seen at least. But yeah, that's it's it's amazing. You could form a team or a clan and just practice clan story and practice like strategies of how to protect your flag and, and capture other ones and kind of figure out where people mostly go. So for domination, a lot of people obviously go for B because you need at least two flags to win. Um, so yeah, you can always kind of have a plan to go get B and, and protect your own flag. So yeah, at number one is definitely domination. Most of the games, most of the videos that I've shown in the past, Call of Duty, is me playing domination. Is because yeah, like like I said before, like I'll get a lot of kills and getting that extra 200 points by just capturing a flag. I'll get my bombing streak so much quicker and get so many more kills. So yeah, that was that was my top five for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.